The Conquest of the Incas, by John Heming, is a comprehensive and meticulous account of the Spanish conquest of the Inca Empire in the 16th century. Heming's narrative skillfully weaves together historical facts, primary sources, and engaging storytelling to provide a deep analysis of the events that led to the fall of the Inca Empire. One of the most striking aspects of Heming's work is his portrayal of the Incas. He depicts them as a highly developed civilization with a sophisticated social structure, advanced engineering, and a complex religion. Heming's portrayal challenges the Eurocentric view that prevailed for centuries, which often depicted indigenous peoples as primitive or inferior. By presenting the Incas as a formidable civilization, he highlights the enormity of the challenge the Spanish conquistadors faced in subduing them. Heming's analysis emphasizes that the Spanish were not dealing with a mere collection of tribes but a powerful empire with a rich cultural heritage. Heming also delves into the character and motivations of the key figures in this historical drama. He provides a balanced analysis of Francisco Pizarro, the Spanish conquistador who played a pivotal role in the conquest. While Pizarro's ruthlessness and ambition are evident, Heming also highlights his resourcefulness and adaptability. This nuanced portrayal allows readers to understand the complexities of Pizarro's character and the circumstances that drove him to pursue the conquest. In contrast, Heming portrays the Inca Emperor Atahualpa as a tragic figure. His capture by the Spanish and eventual execution are depicted as a great tragedy for the Inca people. Heming's analysis of Atahualpa's character presents him as a leader who was caught in a web of political intrigue and betrayal, ultimately leading to his downfall. This portrayal invites empathy for Atahualpa and underscores the devastating impact of the conquest on the Inca society. Heming also emphasizes the role of religion in the conquest. He discusses the clash between Inca religion with its pantheon of gods and elaborate rituals, and the Catholicism brought by the Spanish. This collision of beliefs and practices had profound consequences for both sides. The Spanish viewed the Inca religion as pagan and sought to convert the indigenous population, while the Inca saw the Spanish as agents of evil. Heming's analysis shows how religion was not just a backdrop to the conquest but a driving force that fueled conflict and shaped the course of history. The author's meticulous research is evident throughout the book. He draws on a wide range of primary sources, including letters, diaries, and first-hand accounts from both the Spanish and the Inca. This wealth of sources allows Heming to provide a well-rounded analysis of the events, presenting multiple perspectives and shedding light on the motivations and emotions of those involved. The inclusion of these primary sources also lends authenticity and depth to the narrative. Heming does not shy away from discussing the brutality and violence that characterized the conquest. He provides a stark analysis of the atrocities committed by the Spanish, including the massacre at Cajamarca and the widespread destruction of Inca culture. While not excusing these actions, Heming offers some context for understanding the motivations behind them. He highlights the thirst for wealth and power that drove the Spanish conquistadors and the complex interplay of fear, greed, and ideology that shaped their behavior. The book also explores the broader historical implications of the conquest. Heming discusses how the conquest of the Inca Empire laid the foundation for Spanish colonial rule in South America. The influx of wealth from the New World into Spain had profound effects on the European balance of power and the global economy. This long-term analysis provides a comprehensive view of the conquest's enduring impact. In conclusion, John Heming's The Conquest of the Incas is a masterful work of historical analysis that goes beyond a mere retelling of events. It presents a nuanced and multifaceted view of the Spanish conquest, portraying the Inca civilization with depth and respect.
Hemming's careful research and use of primary sources enrich the narrative and provide a well-rounded analysis of the conquest's key figures, motivations, and consequences. This book is not only a valuable resource for understanding a pivotal moment in history but also a testament to the power of historical analysis in shaping our perceptions of the past.